This is Mrs. Wakasas in the library. It's August 10th, 2016, and this video is on trying to find volunteer vacations using uh, our library resources. This is something you can Google, but I ran across a excellent resource that I wanted to share with you. So if you're coming from your Haiku page, you know, hopefully you already know that you go to your Extras tab and you go to your Flannery O'Connor Library, because that's us. So we're going to use a discovery search. Okay, it looks like this, and you can you can drop down and change your how you're going to search. But what I like about the discovery search is it searches all of our different databases at one time, or excuse me, most of our different databases at one time. It makes the searching a lot easier. Sometimes you can be overwhelmed if we have lots and lots of resources, but if it's something that we don't have a lot of resources on, it's a great place to start because it calls everything at one time. So I typed in volunteer vacations, and I hit the jackpot first thing. Actually, let me show you that book. And this is my um, search results. Here's a research starter on what volunteer tourism is, which I don't really think that's what you need. I think you're trying to find one. So basically from here, we have this book. I'm going to show you what this looks like. Okay. Um, it tells us we have unlimited, it tells you what's in the book, but it also tells us it has, we have unlimited user access, which means you don't need to download it. Uh, you don't need to check it out because um, we have as many people can access this book as needed. Some books, if it says one user access, you need to check it out so that nobody else can access it. And if you're going to be working on this from home where you don't have internet, then you would need to download the, this ebook. But I don't think that's really what you need here. So I'm going to take us back to here. To our search results. So this is the one I'm going to do and what I'm about to show you pretty much have to hit this PDF full text and this is what you get right here. Okay so if you are looking here's the it's the here's the book and if you scroll it all the way down I think there's 400 pages of it okay which that would be horrible to have to sit and go through. So you can actually search within a book and it's nice because it's better than the index it's every time you see a word like I did Habitat for Humanity and this is going to pull up every time it talks about Habitat for Humanity okay but even that's a little much see how it's not even just Habitat for Humanity it's when you have the words Habitat for in there at the top these are the best hits at the bottom not so good anyway but I still don't think that's the best way we want to do this Thing. This is really neat. So if you go into the contents, which is your like table of contents, if you scroll down the very bottom of the table of contents, it shows you, I think it's on, there's in the indexes, there is a project by location. And you guys have to do a project in a Spanish speaking country. So you probably are going to be focusing in Central America and South America. So I'm going to go to 399 and we're going to look at what we see in our index. Okay, 399, that's the beginning of the index. It's okay. I need to scroll down because I need to get to Central America and South America, which is a little bit further down. There's a Central America section. There is South America. Now remember, Brazil speaks Portuguese, so that won't work for you. But the rest of them are, I think for the most part, I think there's like actually one French-speaking uh, country. So you just kind of have to be aware. There is a section just for Mexico, okay? And then there's a section for South America. So all of these are different. This actually goes all throughout this page and onto the next because they're alphabetical order. So it keeps going. There we go. And all of these have projects in South America. So what you want to do is find something that you think is interesting. Um, trying to think of which ones I grabbed. So all you'd have to do, like, let's say you wanted to go to Youth International. Uh, which one did I go to? I went to VIP, this Volunteers for International Partnership. Okay. So I can click right here. It says it's on 346, so I'm going to go 346. And I can read what this is about. This is the name of the organization. This is its information, uh, its website, which is where you'll need to go to do your research. And then it just tells you kind of what it's about. And you can read enough to see if it's if it's helpful. And if it's not, then you move on to the next one. But let me just show you what I did is I took this URL and I copied and pasted it and put it over here. So you're really only using the book to find good, reputable sources for these volunteer vacations because there's a lot of ones out there that are not and then the websites are already fleshed out so you're not 
chasing down rabbit holes where the websites don't give you enough information. So look at this one, volunteer, Volunteers for International Partnerships. Right over here on the left-hand side, you can decide which country you want to go to. Pick a Spanish-speaking country. And then when you go here, you've got sample projects that you can do. This is the things that you do. These are your payment schedules. This is the program fees. These are the... Um, you know, what's expected of you and all that kind of stuff, which is exactly the type of information you need to put in your project. So I think this is a great place to start. And I don't think you'll be struggling to try and find information. I think you'll have everything that you need because these are going to be all reputable companies that all have fully fleshed out websites. So let me know if you need help. Hopefully that is helpful. Um, and you can always stop by the library for help.